Hello there, Professor Puri. It is nice to bump into you again. The pleasure is mine, Dr. L. It is nice to see you again. You have been busy. I heard your interview with Voice of America. It was about magnetic fluid hyperthermia. Well, thank you for listening. The concept could have future use to treat cancer tumors. Yes, I heard that during the interview. And you also use nanotechnology? Yes, we use magnetic nanoparticles. These particles are introduced into the tumor. They then heat it to provide the thermotherapy. You said thermotherapy? Yes, the thermotherapy raises the temperature of tumor cells, while keeping the surrounding healthy tissue at a lower degree of body heat. I see. You use ferrofluids to induce the hyperthermia that raises the tumor temperature. You were right. We use ferrofluids. A ferrofluid is a liquid that becomes strongly magnetized in the presence of a magnetic field. Yes, a ferrofluid contains magnetic nanoparticles. So, the magnetic nanoparticles, each billionth of a meter in size, can seep into the tissue of the tumor cell? Yes, this is due to the hypermeability of these vessels. It is possible to magnetically target these fluids to cancerous tissues intravenously. And, afterwards, these magnetic nanoparticles can be heated by exposing the tumor to an alternating magnetic field? Yes, this causes the tissue's death by heating. The process is called magnetic fluid hyperthermia. Which you call thermotherapy. Exactly. Temperatures in the range of 41 to 45 degrees Celsius are enough to slow or halt the growth of cancerous tissue. However, these temperatures also destroy healthy cells. So, this is your challenge. To use hyperthermia treatment to increase the temperature of tumor cells for about 30 minutes. And, yet maintain the healthy tissue temperature below 41 degrees Celsius. We also have to pick the right material for the nanoparticles. Ah, so what material do you choose? Platinum and nickel can be toxic. We have shown that iron oxide nanoparticles are the most biocompatible agents for this kind of thermotherapy. Fascinating. How can I learn more about this? I'll send you a couple of recent papers that my group has written. One was published in Journal of Applied Physics and another one in Journal of Magnetism and Magnetic Materials. Very nice. I am so glad to have bumped into you, Professor Puri. Well, I must go meet my many vice presidents. They must keep you busy, Dr. L. They do. And they keep our university humming. I am fortunate to serve with them as the president of our university. Take care of yourself, Dr. L. Bye.